Here we are, second week at the Hive, my uh, my second inspection. Um, super excited. Uh, just blowing some smoke into the front of the Hive. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, all the guard bees, they're going to be at the front of the Hive. So they're the ones that are going to protect the Hive. And uh, they're the ones that are most likely to come out and try and uh, sting me. So um, a bit of smoke in the front seems to calm them down and send them in to eat. Um, the feeder's still on, uh, but it's not meant to be. I didn't fill it up. There's been no food going in. I just left it on because I couldn't get any bees out. Um, so that's why that's there. Um, I've sped this all up because these videos are like super long. They're like 17 minutes, which is far too much for the average person to give up in their day to watch me just bumbling about with some bees. So um, it's, it's just sped up a bit, but... I'll talk you through everything that's going on. So basically, taking some frames out, da, 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 make a bit of room. There was no drawn comb. This one, they're drawing out the comb a little bit. So um, you can see on there, bam, bam. And uh, yeah, the next frame, they've drawn it out a fair bit. And it's actually super heavy, this one. I remember picking that up and being like, Jesus, there's a lot of weight in that. So there's lots of nectar coming in. Um, people are saying at the moment that there's blackberry um in at the moment so i imagine they're they're getting a lot of blackberry nectar um which uh, there's a lot of that by where i live so i imagine that's that's what most of that is um and you can see they've actually started to cap off at the top of the frame on that one just starting to cap it off so they've been um getting the moisture content down so it doesn't spoil uh this one yeah a bit bit more capping going on all the fun bees running about Da, 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 da. and then this one um i should probably explain so the biscuity bit um that sort of lighter color in the middle that's all brewed um so that is where the queen's laid eggs in they've come into larvae they've got big enough and they've been capped over to develop into bees um, and that's all working um, worker bees. They're not drones or queen cells. They're all worker bees. So um, the reason that that's happened is because um, when I first set them up in the nuke, when they, when they arrived in a nuke, I put them in the, the hive and I gave them a load of food, um, which is sugar syrup. So I gave them that and they stored it all in the in the in the nuke box where they were so in the frames that they had already drawn so the queen didn't have much room to lay um so i put the super on top and i actually left the queen excluder off so that they could um e either shift the sugar syrup up or the queen would go up and lay so i'm super happy that the queen's definitely gone up and laid there that means that a there's definitely a queen and that there's been enough room for her to go and lay because um, if they don't have enough room, then she'll decide that uh, it's probably best for her to go somewhere else and they'll swarm. And it's been beautiful, beautiful weather. So swarming is, is quite likely um, at the moment. So you know, I've got to check them every sort of seven days just to make sure that they don't swarm. Because I think the time it takes to uh, develop in another, another queen is about eight, nine days before they cap it. Um, and once they do that, it's... Uh, it, the queen will just leave and let her develop in the hive right so just getting out a frame of uh, of brood here i just wanted to show the camera a bit closer so i'm going to step around da, 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 da. here you are so beautiful frame of brood and a little bit of cap stores that's cap nectar up in the top two corners and this side boom full of it lots and lots of worker bees ready to come and help the uh, help the colony get some more nectar in and build up ready so they can uh, go into winter nice and strong so super super happy with that um yeah so that's um that's that bit done da -da -da -da. i don't know why i'm looking at that one just just being nosy i guess just trying to work out what's going on um and then what i've done is i've checkerboarded these last two frames in the super again just to help them uh, the bees draw them out just to say these ones need drawing too they're in the middle of your in your brood nest or in the middle of the the hive um where i imagine it's probably a little bit warmer as well so it's probably easier for the bees to make the wax um so yeah boom there's the uh oh close up 
he's done that before. He hasn't actually. This is the first time I've moved the camera. So there we are, new things, getting better at filming. I don't know, it's probably a bit of an awkward angle, but here we are. The So this is just the brood nest. Um, for some reason, I thought, oh, I'll start this side uh, today, and then I changed my mind, because um, I've always gone from, well, from right to left as the camera's looking at it. So I figured I'd crack on and do it the same way I've always done it. So what we got on this frame? I forgot. I haven't looked at this for a while. Um, ba -da -ba. Oh, look at that. Lots of capped, capped um, stores at the top. Um, and lots of bees in there. A fair bit of nectar coming in and a little bit of pollen in the middle. That's that darker, darker cell. And then drawn out on that side, but not much going on. I tend not to do much with the edge of the... Uh, the edge of the hive, the frames at the edge, they just seem to be like mainly storage. Um, but we'll see. Um, this was one of the frames that I um, I checkerboarded. So you can see they've actually started to draw it out a little bit, but not much. So fingers crossed they'll draw out that a little bit more um, by next week. We'll have to check that when we when we get round to it. Um, yeah, this is. As you can see, the end of the frames of here are a little bit darker. Those are the original frames that the uh, that the nuke came. I'll just have a look. Da, 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 da. So yeah, you can see a lot of the workers have started hatching out of that because that was quite a solid pattern. And again, lots of stores, in, and that's just that white capped off um, nectar at the top. Um, so they've hatched out on that side. So the the bees are getting uh, a bit bit more out and about coming out and helping um, uh, so when a bee first hatches if I get this right um, they are nurse bees so nurse bees um, this was one of the I checkerboarded as well so they've drawn out that a little bit more that's good nurse bees actually um, they just feed the larvae um, and help regulate temperature and bits of, like that and humidity around the hive and then after they've done that for a bit, the nurse bees go and sort of when the uh, other bees, the foraging bees come back from the from the plants, they take the nectar off them and go and store it um, in the cells. And then they go down and become guard bees and protect the hive. And then once they've done a little bit of guard duty, then they become foraging bees. So I think that's the evolution or, or the life cycle of a worker bee in a very rough way. This frame, you can see there's some that haven't hatched. But they're quite bulbous cells in the middle so um yeah just the ones that i haven't hatched i think i'll blow on it yeah there you go so you can see there's a big there's a few spotty ones and there's those ones that haven't hatched um those are all drone cells so those are male bees and they take a little bit longer to um to hatch out and develop so that's why they haven't hatched it's not like there's there's a larvae in there that hasn't been able to get out um, they're just drones in there, so they're taking a bit longer. Um, drones only sort of eat and mate. That's the only two things they do. But um, So if you're trying to make honey, a lot of people think drones are bad because all they do is eat the honey and mate with queens and, and they don't really offer much to the hive in terms of honey manufacturing. But they're really, really good for genetic diversity, which is like really important for everything. So... Um, I'm kind of happy to let the drones crack on and live there. Look, they've chewed through the bottom of the wax there, just I think to make it easier to go from from frame to frame. So it's quite interesting. They've uh, just made a little bit of a hole at the bottom with plenty of worker brood. Da -da -da. So cracking on, going through the hive. Once again, sorry these videos are quite long, but um, I was debating just doing like a highlights thing. But uh, for me, where I'm starting, I kind of want the whole videos of just going through the whole hive so I can look back and see week to week development. Um, that might be useful for you, for you people. If it's not, don't watch it. That's all good. Um, oh, loads of pollen in the middle there. Um, that's um, good. And a bee on the right with some, uh, some uh, pollen on its legs. Um, da -da -da. There's those bits of comb hanging off the bottom. They came out of the nuke like that, um, and I was worried they'd build on them and develop them, but they haven't, so I haven't really been bothered to scrape them off or clean them up yet. It's just trying to show you the bee with a little bit of pollen on its legs. 
there. Right, so back into the hive. What else we got? What's on the next frame? Da -da -da. Yeah, this is why I've I've sped up the video a little bit just to try and try and make it not last four hours. Some people I watch and they can go through a beehive in like two minutes and it's just absolutely incredible, but they know what they're looking for. Whereas me, I'm trying to look at every every frame and how much each frame's developed um, since the last week and what's going on. Um, it's good good brood pattern, good sort of rugby ball shape there going on. Um, plenty of bees on it, so happy with that. Um, it's cracking on, still going strong. Um, yeah. Uh, one of the things I have been having trouble with is um, keeping my smoker alight. You can see it's sitting there idle, not really doing much. Um, I meant to sort of use it to keep the bees down, but I seem to get a good few puffs at the start, and then I, I kind of just leave it accidentally, get too focused with the bees, and I let it go out. Um, so I need to get better at that. That's just a note for me. Um, but yeah. Also, any comments on how to keep smokers alight for longer? What what material to use in them. I've seen a lot of people say pine needles and stuff like that. Um, at the moment I'm just using bits of cardboard. Um, but yeah, which... Oh, look at that. That's a lovely brew pattern. Um, yeah, so that's going well. That's... Um, I think that was a frame that was brand new to the hive as well. So they've drawn all the comb out and um, laid and capped over brood in that time, which is really lovely to see. Um, yeah so two frames left anything exciting we haven't seen the queen yet um spoilers i don't think we do in this uh, in this visit um i was actually super worried about whether i had accidentally squished her in the first my first um inspection but because we've got the brood there that's that's been capped up in the super i know that she's about and i know that she's laying because that didn't have any any larvae in, in the first week inspection i don't think so um i know she's about but you know it's nice to see her i know it's a, a silly little thing but it's just it's like you know it just makes your mind go like oh everything's all right it's all good we got the queen she's happy um but yeah um, and those last two frames they're drawing out um, and putting a few bits of stores in there but nothing nothing too much nothing exciting going on um, and then I think I'm just shifting everything back and trying to uh, trying to pack up the beehive basically ba -dum -bum. yeah it's really a struggle moving all the frames together I seem to it's one of the things that everybody says to do, but I really struggle with it. I'm just terrified I'm going to crush a load of bees. Um, it makes sense, but it, it doesn't make sense in my head when I go to do it. Um, so yeah, some uh, some bees back in the box now. Du -du -du. I could probably cut most of this stuff, to be honest. But just so you know, I'm I'm... Uh, recording this and watching a video on my laptop of the uh, the film that I've made um, but my laptop is so awful it's just buffering so I'm just narrating to a glitchy screen at the moment and hoping that this is kind of laps over in some kind of way where I'm talking about the right thing that's going on um, but yeah if it doesn't well you know one take wonder let's just uh, just let it let it be beautiful and, and wild and, and if the voiceover doesn't work it doesn't work but you know basically I'm just packing up the hive now I think um, and this is the time where I really want to use my smoker to get all those bees back down into the hive but it's just not not smoking as much as it should be um, so yeah gently does it um, put it on a, an angle so there's less contact with the bees and then straighten it up that's the uh, that's supposedly the best method the way where you crush least but least bees um, you're gonna crush bees no matter what in beekeeping which is sad but um, it's it's one of those things um, uh, so hopefully the least bees squash the better um, hopefully the better 
the more I do it, the better I'll get, and and hopefully I won't be uh, crushing too many bees. But um, yeah, so that's uh, that's it. I'm just just packing up the hive, just putting everything back. Oh, I think I get a frame out just to show you the brood again. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Um, just trying to find a good one to show you guys. Forgot I did that. Da -da -da. Um, it's glitching as hell, so I don't know whether it's on the on the screen at the moment. But here, I'm just going to start talking. So in the top right hand corner, there's loads of honey, a little bit of pollen. Um, you can see right at the top of the brood, there's some larvae as well, some little curled up C shapes. That's the little larvae. And then there's loads of capped brood. And the bees are just working on it, basically, making sure they're all right. They're all nice and warm or they're not too warm. The pollen actually there, it kind of looks moldy and a bit gross. But what it is, is they mix they mix pollen with nectar um, um, and they eat that. And that's where they get their protein from. Um, so nectar is just like sugar and carbohydrates but the pollen is a is like a protein meal um so that pollen's called bee bread when they mix it with the nectar and some nice white comb some nice fresh comb on the other side and just plenty of uh, plenty of larvae plenty of worker bees ready to hatch and help out um yeah It's quite a uh, quite a pretty thing. I quite like it. It's really satisfying to look at. Um, yeah, so I think that's um, that's that's it this week. Um, uh, hopefully next week we we'll, oh god trying to put this roof on. I hate this roof. Hate it. Um, it's got no bee space. So if you put it on just flat, it just squashes all the bees against the frames. Um, I may try and make a little frame for it to give the bees a little bit more room or just maybe just give up and buy a crown board a wooden crown board but um yeah it's a bit frustrating using that at the moment the uh, queen excluder i've just put on top just for storage reasons there's no there's no massive reason behind that um but that's it um next week we'll uh, we'll see what's going on see what's happening bye